Today, I'm going to show you how to paint on denim. Jessalyn Grace. Welcome to the first episode of Jessalyn's Creative Corner. For those of you who aren't familiar with me, I'm a YouTuber, influencer, and a member of the new girl group, RTW. If you're looking for something fun and creative to do, I suggest you paint on denim, and that is what we will be doing in today's video. Let's go over the materials that you will need in today's video. Fabric medium, acrylic paint, paint brushes, a pencil to sketch, and a palette or a plate. And of course, denim. We suggest you use an old denim jacket or an old pair of jeans if you don't have a jacket, and this one right here is from Justice. You'll also need something to put in between your jean jacket and your work surface, that way the paint won't sip through and like get everything all messy. <laughs> Before we get into painting, you want to make sure that you sketch out the image that you're going to paint. In this case, I decided to do a rainbow and our group name, RTW. The reason why I did this is because our first single is actually called Rainbow, so I thought, hey. Why not do this? Make sure you don't go into full detail like I did because we're gonna use a white base over this. If you're having trouble deciding which image you wanna paint on your denim jacket, then I suggest you check out Pinterest because they have a lot of cool ideas on there or you can even paint your favorite album or maybe your pet, something like that. Go ahead and be as creative as you wanna be. After you've sketched out your design, time to paint. Since I'm doing a rainbow, I have a lot of colors, as you can see. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, and white. This fabric medium is going to help the paint stretch with the denim. That way, when you wash it in the washer, it won't come out. I'm going to start off with the color white. This is going to cover everything that I sketched out, so I'm going to use a lot. I'm going to put it on here about this much. I'm going to use a paintbrush to mix the fabric medium and the acrylic paint. You want to make sure that it mixes evenly. Before going into color, you have to make sure that you use a white base because that way the colors can pop more. So since I'm using this big brush to paint it white, I'm going to use a smaller brush to get all of those curves and other stuff. So that's why I'm not going into it yet. I have my smaller brush and I'm going to go into the details. Starting off with the rainbow. The smaller brush gives you more control, so that's why you want to use it for all the details. And then the big brush is more for like painting it all in. Now that I'm done applying the base, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then we're going to add color. Once this is all dry, you can go in with your pencil and sketch out all of the details. Now that the base is dry and I sketched in all of the details for the painting, I'm going to go in with color. I'm going to start off from the top. So we're going to use purple since my rainbow right here, it only has five streaks, so it would be for red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. I'm going to use purple for the RTW. Again, make sure that you use a fourth of fabric medium um, to the amount of paint that you have. So I'm only going to use about three drops. Oh, that's already good. Now before going into your next color, you have to make sure that you wash your brushes. Otherwise, the paint is going to get contaminated and it won't be the color that you want it to be. Let me do that real quick. <laughs> okay, so I did make a little mistake. With the paint, I was using a really big brush. So as you can see, the lines are very sharp, which is why I'm going in with an even smaller brush. And I decided to mix black with the purple paint just like a little bit. So now I'm outlining it. I already started painting the rainbow. I already have the red line and the orange one. Now I'm going to do yellow. I'm finally done painting in my rainbow and now I'm going to fix up the cloud, also paint in the eyes. I like to add a little white dot to the eye, that way it could pop. And I'm using the back of my brush because it has like a circular shape. Here I'm adding red to the mouth of my other kawaii cloud. 
All right, I am all done painting. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Doesn't it look so cute? <laughs> By the way, when you're done painting, you wanna put it outside for about 24 hours. And if you wanna speed up the drying process, then you can leave it out in the sun. All right, it's all dry now. So I'm gonna try it on for you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Well, what do you guys think? And that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for more episodes of Jessalyn's Creative Corner. If you happen to try this out, then definitely tag us on Instagram and use the hashtag LiveJustice. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you won't miss any videos from us. I will see you all next time. 